Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. I'm so upset that I'm just now finding out about this incredible series, Troy, Follow a City. After recently watching Pompeii and daydreaming about African and Roman gladiators in love, I started to watch this series and stumbled onto a steamy love story between two black Greek heroes, and I couldn't believe I'd never heard of this black gay love story before. Now I pride myself on knowing what the latest black gay romances on TV are, and so I was pleasantly surprised that I'd missed one. I haven't heard anyone online or any LGBTQ news vlogs mention this story, or maybe I just missed the articles. A popular ancient Greek story is the fall of the city of Troy, where Greek kings, leading armies, went to war over a forbidden love. Queen Helena falls for a young prince of Troy, and all chaos ensues when she flees the country and her megalomaniac husband and king, Agamemnon, with the valiant prince of Troy named Paris. I also enjoyed that just like the Greek myths, the show incorporates the Greek gods like Zeus, Aphrodite, and Athena within the story, who are actually pulling the strings of this messy war behind the scenes. Apparently there was some backlash online with the release of this series where some gods, politicians, and warriors are played by black actors, which of course makes me like the series even more. Now if you're familiar with the story of Troy, then you likely have heard about one of the most popular Greek historical figures, Achilles, a legendary Greek fighter whose expertise on the battlefield made him one of the most popular characters of Greek antiquity, and even his death became legendary. An Achilles heel would go on to become a commonly used phrase to describe someone's nearly imperceivable vulnerability. Though the character Achilles is part of the series from the first episode, his love story with Patroclus doesn't begin to ramp up until episode 4, entitled Spoils of War. British Ghanaian actor and my future husband, David Gyasi, plays the dominant and skilled warrior Achilles, who begrudgingly supports Agamemnon in his fight against the city of Troy, even though he hates the king. I've seen a few reviews online and was pleasantly surprised to see that I wasn't the only viewer whose favorite character was Achilles. Quite a few blogs detailed how Troy, Fall of a City, got a lot more exciting when Achilles takes center stage in the series' storyline. If you're a Greek history enthusiast, then you may know that the love story of Achilles and Patroclus is a well-documented part of Achilles' elaborate narrative, though some fans of Greek period pieces may not know this because usually this love story is watered down in other versions. When Brad Pitt starred in the 2004 blockbuster movie Troy, which basically tells the same narrative as the series, the tragic tale of Achilles losing his beloved Patroclus in war is minimized to a mere friendship. The Greek historians and folklorists, however, make it clear that though Achilles was a bisexual romancer of many, his main squeeze was Patroclus, who fought alongside him in battle countless times. In this series, both Achilles and Patroclus are played by black actors, delivering an interesting black gay love story to my TV screen I didn't even know I needed. Achilles' loyal sidekick and lover off the battlefield, Patroclus, is played by South African actor Lemogang Tsipa and the two actors have great chemistry with each other on screen. Throughout the series, Achilles is usually playing his part as the heartless killer who can take on dozens if not hundreds of soldiers on his own at once, but when his lover Patroclus falls ill with a mysterious illness, we see a tenderness and caring come from Achilles that he doesn't show anyone else in the show. The ruthless king Agamemnon had raided several Greek cities and stolen a princess to become his plaything, and many of his men, who have now become sick, believe his depraved actions have caused the gods to bring this mysterious plague to their camp as punishment. Achilles, being the most valuable fighter in the entire Greek army, confronts the king and gives him an ultimatum of returning the princess or losing his best fighter. Achilles convinces the bullheaded king to give the princess back, and sure enough, the plague begins to lift and Patroclus begins to gain his strength. We finally get to the good stuff when Achilles takes Patroclus and another captured Greek princess to the beach to train and test out his newfound health. Both Patroclus and Achilles begin to spar and wrestle on the beach as the princess watches on in adoration. See, it took me quite a few of my gay years to realize what is actually happening when a man wants to consistently wrestle with you, so I knew where this sparring match was headed when I was watching this scene. Gay pro tip, wrestling is homoerotic foreplay, and we know the Greeks love to wrestle. Before you know it, Achilles and Patroclus are kissing on the beach. 
and then move over to the princess to let her in on the fun. I gotta say, this scene was tantalizingly steamy, and Patroclus and Achilles are so damn cute together. Y'all know I love ancient epic movies and TV shows, and y'all also know I love black gay love stories, so this series did a great job of merging two of my favorite things into one. Now, if you know the story of the fall of Troy, then you know this tale is filled with a lot of star-crossed lovers and heartbreak, so you probably know how this story ends for our heroes, Patroclus and Achilles. I haven't yet finished the series, so I'd love to do a follow-up review of Achilles and Patroclus' love story in another video. Have y'all seen this series yet? Were you completely unaware of this black gay love story like I was? I'd love to hear your thoughts on Achilles and Patroclus in the comments.